Hey, welcome back. And today we're going to see a React hook. And in particular, we're going to see a React hook using a, a create context. So here I just have a simple page from uh, code sandbox. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to create a really simple uh, um, page with uh, a few items and in which using React hooks, we are going to share some settings among the child components without actually having to use uh, items such as Redux, external libraries such as Redux. So, first of all, let's import um, React and then we're going to need uh, create context and use context and also use state all right so when we use a create context all we are going to do we are going to share a value among a component and the children's without actually having to pass through a property throughout the entire application usually this is achieved uh, using something like Redux, however, if we use context, we can avoid using uh, Redux and uh, the complexity associated with it. So first of all, let's create a context. Uh, so let's get a constant uh, uh, user context, which is uh, equal to a create context and the default value is null. Uh, we're using the app script. I'm going to make this one either a string or null. Okay, now we are inside our app. We need to use uh, um, this context, and this context is provided uh, as a... we're going to use it as a wrapper around the component. So we're going to have a user context which wraps over the entire app and we can specify also a default value which we can set to a string of any kind. We set it to this is string of my value. Okay, use content doc provider, it's what we have to use. Alright, so now what is going to happen if we can take the uh, the provider name and use it in the child component. So we're going to create a new constant uh, user page which is uh, of type react um, functional component, takes no parameters, and is going to return a div, and inside this div we're going to put uh, hello from user page, just to make sure that everything uh, is, is fine. So we're going to say user page and we should be able So we can actually see hello from user page. Now we're going to use a context. I'm going to add the context. So in the user page, we are going to say const user, sorry, the wrong function. User 
this context and we're going to import uh, the user context and now what we can do in here we can actually use this context to display some value so we're going to use context and it's coming from here from uh, this is my string value now what if you want to change this value well what we can do is exactly change the value on the provider so we can use uh, const user set user is equal to user state and we provide initial value so now we're going to replace this value with the user and now we're going to have our initial value so now to change the user value all we have to do is simply to insert another value somewhere uh, and how do we do this we can uh, well we can do this in a few different ways for example we can have an input we can have a button uh, or we can simply have a, a, an api that calls a backend server and returns the name of the user uh, in this case i'm just going to put a button so we're going to put uh, h1 l from home page and then we're going to put a button on click so on click we're going to have a function This function simply sets a value uh, to the set user. Set so set user, and we can set this to a hello from button, and then we can say um, date. to date string and then handle click and now if we check if you click we're going to get the current value and this value is going to be in all of the items that use uh, this provider so to complete this example we're going to put another section um, another uh, instance of the object that we're going to say to see how the same context can be derived in a different component const new component we still of type react dot fc we need essentially the same as before we need the context which is use context user context and this is going to return a div this is new component today um, let's put the break line and in here we're going to set the context so let's put some separation and then uh, we can use user user uh, we can put our new component and this is the new component let's add a little bit some uh, a little bit of style so that this is clearer
So this is our new component and this one is the old component. Um, and that's everything for today. Thank you for thank you for watching.